Good afternoon students. In previous video, we discussed about the causes and the effects behind the disintegration of USSR. Now what happened after the disintegration of USSR in the republics of USSR? It means that after the disintegration, which steps were taken by the international institutions to transform the economy of post-Soviet countries. So let us start with our next topic that is shock therapy and its consequences. What was shock therapy? The first question arises here is what it was uh, the step which was taken by the World Bank and International Monetary Fund to transist the economy of post-Soviet countries into capitalist model of economy. So let us start with our next topic that is shock therapy and its consequences which is very important regarding our CBSC examination. The collapse of communism led to the process of transition from an authoritarian socialist system to a democratic capitalist system in many countries of East Europe. So it was the main motive behind the shock therapy that to transist the economic system of post-Soviet countries. The model of transition influenced by the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund came to be known as shock therapy. So what was shock therapy? It was the economic model of transition which was influenced by the World Bank and International Monetary Fund is known as shock therapy. The adoption of shock therapy required total shift to capitalist economy which led to the complete rooting of any structure evolved during this period. So the main objective of shock therapy was to remove the socialist system of economy from the countries of East Europe and try to set up the democratic liberal model of economy, capitalist model of economy in these countries. Now that what are the effects and the consequences of shock therapy? Shock therapy brought ruin to the economies and disaster upon the people of entire region. What happened due to the shock therapy that it became disaster for the economy of these East European countries. In Russia, the large state controlled industrial complex as you know that in a socialist country, all the resources and industries are run and operated by the government. But after the effect, after the introduction of shock therapy in the East European countries, the large state controlled industrial complex collapsed as 90% of its industries were put up, for, uh, put up for sale in the private individuals and companies. 90% the industries of Russia now they uh, sell to the private individuals. It led to the disappearance of entire industries. Prior to the disintegration of USSR, there was a system when the industries and the large states were controlled by the state. But after the disintegration of USSR, when the capitalist model was introduced, that was known as shock therapy in the East European countries. So that became disaster for the economy and for the people of East European countries. Next one is, this was called as the largest garage sale in the history as valuable industries were undervalued and sold at throwaway prices. It means kodiyon ke daam becha gaya. What do you mean by largest garage sale? When the 90% of public sector industries of Russia were sale at throwaway prices to the individuals that was known as largest garage sale in history. The value of Russian currency that ruble declined and people lost their saving due to inflation. Why there was inflation? Because uh, the government gave some subsidies uh, to the people uh, and there was a minimum living standard for the people to the entire region of East Europe. But after the introduction or the disintegration of uh, USSR and introduction of shock therapy uh, it was very difficult for the people to save their saving uh, saving in the account and there was uh, inflation and because of the inflation people lost their saving 
the traditional system of social security and welfare to all came to an end and withdrawal of government subsidies or security made larger sections of society poor what was the reason that mostly uh, mostly people they became poor due to the uh, remove of subsidies which was given by the government shock therapy made about half of russia 1500 banks and फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन बैंक करप्ट कंगाल हो गए पंद्रह सौ बैंक बंद हो गए और जितने बड़े बड़े जो इंस्टीट्यूशन थे फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन थे वो सब बैंक करप्ट हो गए इट मीन्स दे हैड नो मनी ड्यू टू इट द मनी ऑफ अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड कॉरपोरेट एंड प्राइवेट शेयर होल्डर्स वॉज लॉस्ट प्राइवेटाइजेशन लेड टू द न्यू डेस्पायरिटीज प्राइवेटाइजेशन हाउ प्राइवेटाइजेशन लेड टू द न्यू डेस्पायरिटीज नाउ द industries and the resources are run and controlled by individuals now there was a wide gap between the rich people and the poor people so due to the privatization process now there was uh, economic inequality in the region of east european countries no adequate attention was paid to the development of democratic institutions in these countries most of the constitutions were drafted in hurry and almost all countries including russia had a strong executive president with a relatively weak parliament so uh, there was different constitution in the different east european countries but there was no attention paid by these institutions to set up the democratic institutions in this region so that was uh, the disaster for those people those who believed in the socialist system but after removing the socialist system from east european countries now the people had to face so many problems like the inflation problem like the lost their saving problem like the social security were removed so many problems were faced by the people of east europe due to the introduction of shock therapy so shock therapy was the disaster for the people of east european countries so this topic is very important read ncert book and try to understand uh, this topic uh, regarding the cbse examination thank you and have a nice day